and welcome to my channel. Um, I gotta admit for this tutorial I basically had no idea what I was gonna do but I thought I'd just take you along for the ride because you know why not. Um, basically sometimes I just really want to do something and I don't have a specific plan in mind with it but I just start somewhere and see where I end up. This time I wanted to use the airbrush and an old lace shirt as a sort of stencil and I just you know started there and went from one place to another and ended up being sort of an abstract green artwork thing. Yeah, that's just how life goes sometimes. So yeah, if you want to see that entire process, uh, stay tuned. Okay, to start off with, um, I'm just going to do the uh, airbrush part. So I'm wearing my trusty bandeau top of which I don't care if it stays clean or not. And um, for the lace, I'm using this old tie-dye crochet shirt. Thingy. Um, it's sort of, um, well, it's sort of torn and I don't actually wear it anymore. So I don't mind, like, let me put it this way, is usually the paint gets out again. But I don't want to risk using a shirt that I still actually wear just because if the paint doesn't come out, I'd rather have it be this shirt than one that I actually still wear. Uh, also, this one is nice big hole, so I'm hoping you'll get a nice pattern out of it. Also, an important thing with the airbrush paint, always um, shake it well before use. Then um, important is to try and make it sit in some way. Um, on someone else it's easier because you can hold it on yourself. You're just going to have to like, I don't know, like hold it with the same arm you're painting and like stuff it in your top and like just hope for the best basically. And then with the results, of course, if you want smaller spots, you're going to need to use something with a smaller pattern. Um, but I think for this, this is actually quite a nice result. This is going into the, <laughs> into the laundry basket now. Okay, then it's important to always immediately clean the airbrush after using it, because you don't want to risk it becoming dirty and like the paint drying in it. Um, so I'm just gonna do that and then I'll come back to you to add some more details. Okay, the airbrush machine is clean, so I'm going to use black and white face paint now, body paint, however you want to call it. And a eyeliner brush, well technically actually this is an eye, uh, not an eyeliner brush but a striper brush, it's actually a nail art brush. Um, I find it easier to make nice curves with a longer brush, or at least a brush with longer bristles. Um, if you don't have this though, you can always just use an eyeliner brush instead, it's fine too. Do make sure you mix your paint very well with the water so it doesn't get all drippy because out of all the randomness um, we do want it to be non-drippy apparently, maybe, yeah. Basically I just wanted to challenge myself today and do something I don't regularly do, like if you watch my videos more often, a lot of my body paints are very specific in terms of like they're more cartoony style, they're really like, I think about where to put certain lines and all. And today I just wanted to do something that's not necessarily very thought out, but rather just, you know, a collection of random patterns and just go for it, basically. Not something that's necessarily supposed to be something, but I'm just going to follow the patterns that the airbrush through the top actually made. Or whatever piece of, like, lace pattern stuff you're using. And yeah, just, you know, go for it to see where we end up. And then some low lines with black paint, which I'm trying to not make too thick because I don't want the entire thing to become too dark. Just 
Just pull you up a little bit closer, well, a lot closer really. And now we're focusing on the face. Um, you could do green contour on the face with the airbrush if you're very good with the airbrush. I'm not. Like, literally, I wouldn't be able to do this with the airbrush. I just get green all over my face. So I'm just going to use brushes and green eyeshadow instead. And basically, I am sticking to the natural contours of my face. I'm just doing them in green rather than in a natural shade. Basically, I'm sticking to the small brush by the way, just because I don't want to risk it becoming too big. Like, basically, I don't want half my face to be green all of a sudden. Um, so, yeah, like I'm doing the contour, but I'm not blending it out too far upwards. I just want it to be there. But, like I said, I don't want to risk my entire face suddenly being completely green. Like, I want to stick to my natural skin color, but just with random green shadows instead of, you know, gray ones. And instead of doing a normal highlight, I'm... Just gonna use this brush. And a white face paint. Now we're at it anyway, I'm also giving my collarbones a highlight. Now to keep the eyes, well I mean, I don't want to add like false lashes and a huge glam look. But I do want my eyes to be defined, so I'm adding, a, I hope, a tiny black eyeliner. That's always, you know, uh, sort of a surprise to me too, how it ends up. But anyway, I am using an actual eyeliner for this, simply because I feel like it's a lot more black compared to black body paint, so yeah. I'm also putting a line below the eye, and I actually managed to keep the wing tiny. On top of which I'm very surprised about. <laughs> now to finish off this look, I'm going to apply a white eye pencil in the uh, waterline. Just to tie it together with the white highlights that are already there. And I think for lips I'm going to go for basic nudes, just to keep it all nice and natural. we're left with the final results um yeah basically um i can't really call this a tutorial i'm really not sure what i'm gonna call this video at all um at any rate i really hope you enjoyed just watching my creative process of starting somewhere having no idea what i'm doing and just going along with the rights of what is happening with the makeup yeah 
Um, at any rate, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It would really help me out. And if you want to see more tutorials, you can always subscribe, always subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Um, actually, most of my looks are more thought out than this. And actually go to a more wearable result as well. At any rate, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.